Okay, people. So, shout out to Charles on this one for sending this uh, an email to me, saying I should check this out. And a shout out to someone else who sent me the uh, the new lawsuit that's you know, that's going on and it's in the news everywhere. I'm just going to give you the short version. It seems like it's uh, really reaching, and I'll give you the hint. A hint, you know, a clue. Um, I want to think of that it was subliminally under reaching. Um, oh, echo, 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 echo. Up and down, up and down, the story goes. Okay, that, that's my hint to you. So the hint was, make it more clear for you, up and down. And echo was the hint. And I'll give you one more little hint to that. To make it a little more, a lot more easier, is the um, equipment they used to monitor the um, vibrations, and also the dramatic statement about how it's uh, way off. It's this and that. You know, it's uh, it's 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 so right there. It's the problem. That was also 2016, I believe, when they did that, and then they had much more work since then. And in 2018, they had their investigation, and then they had one again, uh, the core samples done on this structure. So all that time, and no one said anything about it. So I don't see that class action lawsuit being more than just trying to make somebody settle to give them money. I don't see it. Um, the, you're going to be able to prove the vibration. Uh, okay, I'll give you more of a hint. Maybe it's in this video. That's what I was hoping for, because Charles, I lost my my video, so it's probably in this one. But this this is important. I stopped it here, and I did not play it forward any for anymore. This is called B roll reel number two. If you guys want to find it, the uh, this is very critical. This looks sort of like our sample, doesn't it? Just this is weird. This is very weird looking. Uh, very weird, um, and it's 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 like it's full depth, so it's not a repair. Um, very weird. I don't know. I will not say that's the camera. That was cut with a saw, and it's the rebar, and that's that's very telling because the uh, that gives you a spacing of your rebar. Let me zoom in on that uh, before I'm calling it rebar, but I can't get a better shot of it. Um, it gives you a spacing of rebar, the engagement, look how beautiful it is. Uh, and, okay, these have been sheared off. No, well, that looks like paste at the top. Stirrups. So they're, they're okay. So, hmm. Hmm. That's near a floor, isn't it? That's a smaller rebar. It looks like it's coming out of the side here. Let's go ahead and play it. But this is, gives us a new uh, a theory about the deck over there being different concrete mixes, that deck. And I'm going to do a video for you guys to show a different... Um, hmm, the uh, I'm going to show you why that overlay is... And that overlay with the pavers and all is, is huge. It did not act as a composite deck, meaning they're acting as one. They were acting uh, um, individually, and one is a dead load, and one was a strong back, uh, the floor for it. I'm going to let the volume play in the background here. Maybe you guys notice it or not, but this is a new mic. So the mic has, mic has been finally resolved as of today. I tried many mics, and you guys kept giving me feedback. You didn't know you were, but they were just junk mic after junk mic. So here we are at the top of the food chain with this mic now. So your donations have not gone to waste. Oh, okay, good. You see the spacing here? That Wow, that's the overlap, maybe. Maybe that's the overlap and they're just kind of close. But that would be sort of back, let's see, back to here. Let's go there. Yeah, there's, there's six cl uh, clusters. Uh, well, overlap, maybe. Let's go ahead and... After he marks that off. Yeah, look at that. Wow, that looks like a just a different poured form concrete type deal. When they had the forms, the guys used a micro concrete back then. Mm, not sure what I think of it yet. There's the rebar there. That's not a lap. That's the space too far apart. 
that's actually uh, the way the rebar is spaced. So here's one, two, three, and four presented. It doesn't mean something else is not buried down here. And this looks like it's a weird thing here, like they cut it free, and that part fractured, and then they brought it over here and they dumped it. Anyway, let's, let's advance. Okay, um, there's the wall there. So they're stating that the vibration came from driving the pile, uh, pile, um, the wall system down that additionally was installed, the bulkhead, if you will, right here. This sheet piling, it, it interlocks and goes down. Well, that's not the one they're stating it fell down. They're saying it's back here that came magically through this metal wall, through the concrete, through the floor perhaps, they're not stating exactly where, but up and down is your clue. I'll get to that in another video. Well, maybe by the time this video is over with, I'll just wrap myself out and do it. Um, there's your... Thanks again, Charles, for sending this over. Uh, yeah, this is just a different view. The, the view I had was a close-up of his foot kicking. So now they sent a view a step further step back. Hmm... Why would you do that? There's Collins Avenue. Yeah, this is the video. This is the video. All right, right here. This is the one here because he's going to grab a piece of stone. This is what I was going to show you. So that's the uh, the piling, uh, sheet piling here. And it just interlocks. Well, let's look at it. Do you see where the concrete has broken free from it because of all the excessive vibration 10 foot away approximately, 10 feet away when they were driving those pilings down? cause this to break free and you notice it right here because you see right here that it's separated by 16 inches i had to say that in case you guys start thinking on me if i say six inches it might be too close for you guys so of course that's not 16 inches there's it looks pretty tight in fact the excavator did this racking of this 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 going at this wall tearing at it um so it would have to go through the pile the the, the sheet piling the vibration would have to then carry into the concrete and then carry into the uh, the deck. Then from the deck, go all the way over and do what? Do something two years later where it shows the core sample bad and, and two places only, but not over here. Not close to here, but the core sample is showing, well, the, the, the exploratory core samples were done on the other side. And they're saying it's those two points? Well, they should have brought that up in 2018 and then in the last report also before the uh, incident. Again, the, uh, the real victims here are the people that rented and didn't know about the dangers of the structure. And, of course, that would be uh, Bedou. Cassandra Stratton, just so you guys know. Uh, she would be the real victim, one of the real victims, you know, the renters. Hannah Bedou. But, but do, uh, I know the mother helped me pronounce it. I don't have it in front of me. Sorry, I apologize. But let's go forward. Yeah, he just grabs a piece of stone there. I mean, why? The excavator went at this. What is he looking at? One little piece, isolated piece. And they're, and they're doing that. Excavator did that too. You know, it, it popped at this or, the, or when they demoed the building. Um, let's see if I can turn the volume down for you on that. Okay, and that's the guy matching the samples up. Now, that does look like it's a uh, little bit of charcoal down here-ish. Remember, this is, uh, NIST is the one that got me blocked. They're blocking all my content. You can't find uh, that, but that doesn't match there. I mean, really? All right, so your clusters, you can count them. Look at the columns. But this is the wall I care about, and this is the wrong location. And that's the uh, shear wall system for the building that, that stayed behind. And over here would be the... Oh, right about here would be... Interesting. Is this K? 
this K9, the, the face of the wall, right there? Perhaps it is. If so, it's uh, pretty strong there in the ground. We went over this, um, but anybody new can look at it. You see the debris is still there. Um, that debris was, wasn't shoved under there by the excavator because uh, it did, you can't. This weighs about, I think I did 16,000 pounds roughly on this. This is four foot tall. It's not something small. It's two foot wide. It's approximately 21 feet by 21 feet, something around there. Um, and you can see the concrete on the of it. It just tells you the debris. Scat, when it went down, the first part of the building scattered debris, uh, ejected, ejected debris, uh, elastically bounced debris over here, elastic, and then came to rest, and then that came down on top of it. I don't think there was any chance. That, maybe there's a chance they both came together. Maybe that's the column. Uh, the, uh, maybe that's the column it shifted on. Let's see. No, it doesn't make sense. It won't work that way. Uh, more, more looks a little more like a flexural break here. And then it slid off a rotation. Oh, a little more of a torque than it is, isn't it? The rotation. Oh, Gregory, where have you been? Shout out to Gregory. All right, so right here is about our ramp deal. So we know this ramp is good play. Placement. And there's our alignment of our columns. And no, I could not see where they removed it. They did such a you know job of removing it. We saw this up close. I talked about this that uh, you know first off, any temporary support would have been done probably with steel, but it wasn't even in the drawings. They had repair of steps over here. And over here is where I'm going to go back to and show you why the how thick this is, this dead load of this deck. Why are they picking on this structure over here that's causing a pressure here? Because they've already tapped out every dollar they can get out of this structure. The, the, the insurance companies and all just gave in. They said, we'll give you it all. So they still need more, though. So they're going after whomever they can. And apparently the city has... Um, has... Uh, has some type of protection where you can't sue them, I guess. I don't know what Florida's law is exactly, in a, et cetera. I don't, I don't want to hear too much about uh, statute of limitations because that doesn't apply anymore these, these days. The clock seems to only run when they want it to run. Mm-hmm. So the impact of this... When this came off of here, rotated over, whatever it did, the flexural break right here. It's not sheer, it's not quite, da it's not down there. I don't see any internal cracks. It's more like a rotation, which we know with the building, how it went down. All right, what's this now? Um, oh, oh, they did a composite. Charles, they did a composite then, because this was... All right, we already dealt with that. So back to the wall. The wall is uh, is the this is what the 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 claiming that the vibration went through this wall. Hmm. I think that's going to be an easy one for them to defend if they want to defend it. It's going to cost them some money. Part of defense would be, you know, the the lawyers or whoever they have representing them, obviously, uh, with their detail analysis is just fluffing, if you will, because, again, um, up and down is my hint. Up and down. Okay, let's see. Wait a minute. I did want to get this content here with, when I said gave you the hint. All right, so it's vertical. There's, they they, they used a, a sensor, and we're the only one that's out of, out of uh, numbers, if you will, by the attorney's position, not by the attorney's position and also the... the uh, the Charles, 
Uh, my brain is frozen. This is for Charles. It's uh, it's his uh, expertise. The geotechnical guy wanted to do the monitoring, and they did the monitoring. The problem is the only where I found, well, not the only where, but perhaps it's somewhere else. I made it on about 80 pages in, and the uh, I still got to finish it. The uh, but it's vertical. The readings are all vertical, and we're talking about a half a half a point, not not much. And that's within since it's two since it's within the closeness closeness of this metal, you can get an echo, and the echo can then give you a false vibration reading. And they're looking at the frequency. You can see the frequency when they're installing the the uh, at the times, and the frequency has changed. So. You know, it, to to have at this again, part of the defense would, would be why this wall is still there. Well, it would change, though, because the, the dynamics aren't there anymore. This is now a, uh, you probably get more of an echo because now the concrete's not there to help make it more of a, a solid shock absorber, if you will. Um, more of an echo. The deck's not there to help it. But then again, you got cars that could have come onto that deck and given a false reading to the sensor itself. The uh, cars could have that, that were parking or driving in the driving in the street. So there's a lot of things that that let's just say if you wanted to stay on the job, which this uh, engineer wanted to stay on this job, he wanted to do the whole perimeter. Um, he, that report looks like you need me. Uh, I'm sorry to say it that way, but that's what it says. But all he could find was up and down vertical. It didn't appear to be out of, out of a range, maybe one time horizontally, and it goes north and south, the axis, right? North and south, west and east, if you're looking down. So if you're looking down, you set it here, north and south, west and east, and then vertical, uh, up and down. All right, that's the end of this video. Let's check out this mic. Let's see what it sounds like. Take care, guys.